Putting together a conference is sometimes a compromise between what topics do you want to cover. Nor Endocrine Tumors are take a multi multidisciplinary team approach. You want to try and get a cross section of different lecturers. And because of time constraints and who's available, you sometimes have to compromise, but you don't want many of the same. But we take a we take a lot of thought into what can we get, who can we get, and what are the topics that are very interesting. To me, this disease still lack of enough attention around the world uh, from both medical community and uh, awareness of caregivers. Conferences give you two elements to deal with. One is information, and sometimes it's information overload, but you're getting it from the experts themselves. The second is networking with other patients and caregivers, people who are experiencing the same disease, but at various stages of both diagnosis as well as treatment. And I think that offers an awful lot of confidence to a newly diagnosed patient. I am a carcinoid patient. I was diagnosed in January of this year. I, I came here to, to support the organization be, because they're doing a lot of work and I think we should be here to, to show our appreciation and to learn. Everybody's different. Uh, mine is a foregut, but there are people with lung noids, pancreatic, but the common denominator is if it metastasizes, generally it's the liver. With this disease, because it is slow grown, we kind of have time on our side. We're fairly active members of the New Jersey CCN uh, network, and we missed the conference two years ago, and I was very excited to have an opportunity to come back to conference. We saw Dr. Liu in Nashville in April at a lungnoid conference there and I had not heard the other doctors speak, but I was very interested to see what they would have to say today. The important thing is to learn the, the new techniques that are hopefully coming out or on the horizon. And the other thing is to, to learn about different doctors that are available because it's, it's such a small community of uh, people that are working with carcinoid, and it's such a complex disease that it is important to know who is quote unquote an expert or is very knowledgeable in this disease because everybody's different. The conferences are invaluable. I, I can't recommend I, highly enough to go to some of these. One, as a patient or a caregiver, you get the chance to meet other people who are doing this and you get to realize that they're doing this, I can do this myself. The information you get is just unbelievable what you can get. You meet some of the greatest doctors in the world. You meet some of the greatest people in the world. Being here is very important because we want to learn as much as we can. And if I had not attended a conference, I wouldn't have learned about therapies and treatments and doctors who were experts. I think it's important for me to go to different meetings, to medical community meetings, to educate physicians, and to come to patient group support meetings to age, educate the patient and caregiver, I'm hoping working from both ends, the message will eventually come across what's the right way to address this problem. And the more people that know about the, the disease, the better we are, because it is sort of in, in infancy right now. We're kind of like the pioneers. The medical professionals in this are unlike any other. Most conferences you go to, you go to the conference, the speaker sits in a green room, they get whisked out, they do their one hour lecture, and they get whisked back, you never see them again. Most of these conferences, the doctors are out in the hallways talking to patients, getting the chance to, you know, to just interact with them and address individual concerns. And it's important to have these conferences to invite people in, gastroenterologists, and people that are like the, the first wave of uh, people that you would go to. I think every patient and every caregiver takes home something different. We've, some people have been to conferences before, there's other venues or avenues for information that you can get certain tidbits. So some people may have not heard something very basic, some people may have not heard something that's more, more advanced, and everybody takes home a little something. I've yet to have a conference that I've either been to or I've been involved with there where somebody said to me, I didn't learn anything. I appreciated both the presentation by Dr. Warner as well as Dr. Wang. 
Dr. Warner's kind of reviewed old information, but put me up to date with what is happening in diagnostics. Uh, Dr. Wang's presentation made me laugh, which I think is very important in dealing with any illness, but particularly this cancer. But it also showed that even from the surgical side, there are new techniques and new approaches, and always trying to solve the problem of what is happening with the individual patient. And from both of them, I got the sense of the individual patient is very important. It's not just a cancer in a body, it's an individual story that goes with what's happening in those bodies. We actually are thinking about our next conference. Uh, sadly to say, the hotel here has been great that we had this conference in. Uh, sadly and proudly, we've outgrown it. Your facilities will no longer accommodate the conference that we have next time. I mean, it's a tie. Again, we think about logistics. Uh, we can sit and limit the number of people who can attend, or we can find another venue to hold the conference. I choose to hold another venue because I want to get as many people as we can to the conferences to be able to see these and, and to do this on a regional basis. Educate yourself. Become your own advocate. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And, you know, don't go to doctors who just give you the answers you want to hear. Sometimes you got to deal with the hard stuff, uh, but get educated. Conferences like this are phenomenal and probably one of the best ways to do that. So if you can make one, come to one. Whoever runs it, wherever it is, go there. Why am I wearing this? Zebra is the emblem for carcinoid cancer. And we all know the story about the zebra. When doctors are in medical school, they're taught to when they hear the hear hoofbeats, don't think of zebras, think of horses. Look for the common problem, not the strange problem. Yeah, look for the common problem. So it's, it's in support. I'm a zebra. <laughs>